Hey there. So I got a quick question for you. Is this you? Because whoever it is that I'm picking up on right now, um, there's a desire to have better boundaries. And it's almost as though you feel guilty about your possessions. Feel guilty. I want to say, I don't say guilty about your body. No, it's, it's more that this desire to have some space around you. Um, I've got a five of wands right here. It sounds like you've been separating yourself from a lot of chaos. Like we do have the five of wands. So, and if you have a quick look over here, we got these, like, you know, the maskers versus the anti-maskers. And I'm not saying this is literally what's going on, but it's as though uh, you've been coming a little bit more observant of how people have been just clashing with each other. Because with the king of pentacles right here, it means that you have been trying to find a sense of autonomy, trying to do your own thing. And to some degree, maybe even... <laughs> Maybe like eating a little bit of popcorn, trying to figure out if you can find a sense of humor about some of this behavior that you've observed around you. But I actually get the sense you're kind of not that impressed. Okay, we got a Queen of Cups right here. I'm getting this as more like a, a, a smug feeling you have about the people that you have been around. I am getting some past tense when I'm checking into your energy because this pre-shuffle is a lot about just kind of tuning in what's led you up until this point. And the moment I said that, I just got this um, splitting headache. You have actually been going through a bit of a spiritual ascension, it sounds like. And the fact that I'm getting the third eye headache, it's that's a bit of a confirmation that you're noticing how a lot of people act as though they are loving. They may even seem motherly or very caring or very nurturing. Um, but given that, you know, trying to see something for what it is and having that headache, uh, it's sort of as though it's inevitable. You know something's about to come to an end. And whoever this is going to resonate for today, it sounds like you want to start thinking about how to close something out in your life so that you can start opening up new portals of opportunities to start working on your spiritual craft. And you really would like to have some practical answers to figure out how you can bring it home. So if we haven't met yet. My name is High Priestess Berries, Psychic Medium and Divine Channeler. Always remember, listen to your instincts, tap into your intuition. If there's anything that I talk about that doesn't make any sense, totally fine. Do not worry about it. This message may not be for you, but you're always welcome to go to the description below and submit your own request for an anonymously channeled message. So, um, uh, before I, I dive in, and we're going to be asking for the way through, we're going to be asking Spirit for just a bit of a confirmation on the core challenge that you might be faced with right now. What is the greatest blockage that's preventing you from overcoming? What kind of guidance does Spirit have for you so that you can work through this? And what kind of outcome you could look forward to? Um, both the decks, though, we have the card of the sun, which... I think this is a little bit of you trying to be optimistic about a situation because below that I do have a uh, Knight of Swords and this is the Vermilion Flycatcher. It, it's a, a very interesting bird where it it has an idea and it, it, it goes off and it grabs little insects like, you know, it like, you know, goes to pick little gifts for, you know, their loved ones. And um, they kind of it's sort of like when you go gift shopping like a souvenir and you see like, you know, a keychain or a tchotchke or whatever, and you, you see them and it's like, oh my God, this reminds me of someone back at home. Oh, like there's some cute nostalgia. And it's almost in the way that you have been sort of presenting how you show that you care to other people. And I'm just getting this like, wow, it's just so lost on people that don't get it. Like there's, there's been a shift, I think, that's been in your perspective lately because we have the card 
of home, the four of wands. And this specific imagery, it's very marriage based and also marrying. Um, if it's not literal, it's more so people from different cultures, different backgrounds, different perspectives, trying to um, create a sense of peace within diversity. But with this Knight of Wands underneath here, there's something that's so I'm getting hasty, just hasty energies. When I went to welcome in your energy, usually like sometimes I talk about it and sometimes I don't. But for you, I, I, I welcome in all of your guides and ancestors. But I know that a lot of the people that ask for my help, they have uh, uh, some low vibe attachments and low vibe um, guides and ancestors that always kind of just drag along. That's pretty normal. And so I kind of suss them out. Like I have my little imaginary space and I try to see if like, okay, I accept all of your well guides and ancestors, the one that can vibe on my level to give you good messaging. And then I create a little distraction <laughs> and see what kind of distraction manifests. And what was interesting when I started welcoming in the guides and I started creating some boundaries with the unwell guides, it was it was almost like um I don't know if you're you are like say a parent or if you're like you know an aunt or an uncle however you self identify but it's sort of like I felt this kid like just trying to grab at me trying to get my attention it was a very sweet innocent type energy but there was this need to give it a very like. I need you to go over there right now. I'm not available to you right now. And trying to find a sense of like, you notice how my eyes are just kind of like straight at the bottom where you know that you don't want to take things out on people that don't deserve it, but there's some kind of lack of space that um, you've been struggling with and you have been trying very hard to find this particular space. And so when I see this card of home and I'm feeling energy of children, Take it how it makes sense in your situation, because children could be childish, you know, adult energies trying to vie for your attention to be all cute, even though they're being rude. This could also be actual children or, you know, young family members, or maybe you work with children at your career. So, you know, take it as it resonates for your situation, but there's something about your core foundation and the people that you're willing to intermix your energy with, because I get the sense you want to be open, you want to be open minded, but it's gotten to the point where you've been too open that you've had these rude energies just kind of run through and just create severe disruptions. So I'm going to go ahead and um, cut to see what we're going to be talking about in the core today. Five of swords, nine of cups. Mm. Like, I mean... Five of Swords, we do have the Magician in its reverse underneath over here. Um, four of Coins. So a little bit of the energy from the um, Earth Kingdom angle. And it doesn't matter if you have um, Earth in your chart or not. Like my um, Earth Kingdom is an all signs reading. Um, but there's something about to the message that I, I put out quite recently that has to do with what's going on. So you're kind of a bit of an extension as to what's going on with that specific reading. Um, but for you, because we got a lot of mother clearing energy, and I think in some ways this is self-forgiveness, whether if it's like you're always like the big sister and never had a child, or you, um, like much older sibling having to care for a child or having kids of your own. There's a lot of how you wish to interact with children that's being, um, Oh, like I'm getting that headache energy. Five of swords can be that can be a bit of a headache. And it sounds like you actually have a big decision um, weighted on your shoulders right now. Um, and I don't think this is an easy decision for you either, but it has everything to do with your fear of not remanufacturing the same problem all over again, because I see the world in your pre-shuffle. This hasn't closed out yet. And those in the who resonated with the earth kingdom message, like there's going to be a sudden change if you haven't felt it yet. And this has a lot to do with your spiritual purpose, a chance to sort of like, if you could get like a dumpster just delivered to your front door and you got stuff to be taken away for free without 
worrying about the karmic like you know like there's something about you don't want to throw things away because you're worried about the karma coming back at you like this could be not willing to throw things away um worried about holding on to things just in case or maybe you're just saving it because you want to have a cool art project you won't get any kind of judgment from me but this is sort of like getting rid of um um old grudges that were never yours in the first place um and whatever decision that you're going to be making I'm hearing this, the decision you're going to be making, I, I can't even say if it's going to be soon or not. It has everything to do with, are you going to be doing it because it's based on your own personal happiness? Or are you doing this because you want to find yourself um, in a place where you could be, make other people happy? Sorry, my computer completely distracted me for a second. Um, okay, we got a five of pentacles underneath there. Um, and I think this is a bit of a, a fear of abandonment because you know you need to go solo. There's something about within your energy where you need to really start creating some physical space for yourself because the King of Pentacles is about your physical surroundings, being able to take ownership of like your home, your thoughts, your emotions, your passion projects. He is the King of Kings, but um, every first step requires you to always start from the point of is this what i want and then every single time we make a decision we reevaluate is this what we want it's almost a little bit of a, a scientific method of approving something versus disproving you know you create your hypothesis in theory if i moved in with this human being it would be a good experience and you know if the experiment has concluded and you realize nope i do not like this experience with this person okay then you can end it but it's learning from this experiment this experience learning from all of your experiences because there is still some overbearing energy like whether say you've broken up with somebody or maybe you're starting a brand new job there there's some freshness around you it's like you got yourself a little bit of a chance to breathe but because there are these um old karmic energies and i don't think you even know what i mean when i say that which i think that's a little bit extra frustrating but that's the self-doubt that's the self-doubt talk that's the thing that makes you think that um your hard work wasn't worth it in the first place that maybe you've been wasting your time um all wasting your time all this time because time and i'm suddenly getting this like repeated loop because I, I just noticed there's a devil hiding underneath here keeping you attached to this teeny tiny little feedback loop that's making you believe that you making decisions for yourself is detrimental to your health some rhyming energy going on in here what I, I know i should be going into the reading but i do see a chariot in the reverse it's sort of like no man left behind or no fucks given and there's something about whatever it is you're going through right now has everything to do with you finally seeking out your own soul purpose so what is the primary challenge that you're faced with right now okay page of swords and the high priestess so yeah this card came out in the uh main reading which this was talking about who are you actually communicating your intentions to should you actually be communicating what is going on you're going through an awakening right now and i will say right off the bat you might be a little bit nervous about a few things but <laughs> we've been there like uh, part of the reason i started this channel was to start opening up a very specific form of um like a modality, uh, an approach to spirituality, um, being able to see and m marry together ideas of religion and science and art and uh, understanding trauma. Like the only reason I'm bringing this up is because I think you're a kindred soul and you're kind of in a different phase of your own personal journey. And, you know, right off the bat, intuitively, I'm being told, no, this has actually been very worthwhile for you truly understanding your own spiritual purpose, but you're still in the middle of, um, the you're in the middle of the experiment still but you have way more control as to what is going on around you and part of what it is that i'm picking up was the challenge is who do you talk to who is worth being open with especially if you're starting to believe things that you thought were kind of stupid in the past and like believe, believe me i'm i'm i've been i've eaten this humble pie a few times when it comes to like oh i guess that's what those people meant i guess it's not as like so we're, we're, we're kindred spirits if that's resonating with you, but 
in some ways it's trying to learn how do you just exercise your own truth without having external approval and that's difficult like you know i can't tell you everything that you need to know a lot of it is me tuning into what it is that you are thinking i say something that actually makes sense to you and you can feel better knowing that i can authenticate a thought and you can run with it knowing that you're actually not that crazy i think there's a, a piece of you that really feels like you've gone crazy um First of all, you have not, <laughs> you have not gone crazy. Um, you are being encouraged, like even before I go into the guidance, um, really seek out some therapeutic help right now. And I know that's a weird thing to say, but even as I went through my spiritual ascension, um, right people, right place, right time, like even in a moment of great need and desire, because I think you're actually in some low key um, uh, mental crisis energy right now, because I'm suddenly feeling a little bit welled up, a little overwhelmed, but a little bit relieved, like, don't worry. Whew. Oh, cooling energies. We'll get some cool energies to help you feel good right here. But um, even I can say that I've been able to find physicians and um, psychiatrists and therapists that have been um, open and receptive to me talking about these aspects of my spirituality. And it's going to be very important to speak your truth. And even if they don't get it, even if you got the, the, the physician that said, I don't quite understand what it is that you're doing, but it seems to be helping you and not interfering. So I'll go along with it call that a win but that said what is your primary challenge right now two of swords in reverse ace of swords oh man so this is a lot of this page of swords energy because you're trying to learn on the fly and you know some people like to learn out loud you'll get no judgment from me um but we have this ace of swords which it, it's supposed to be clarity clarity about the things that you love clarity like yeah this is the thing i want to do and then you second guess and go shit uh there goes clarity again uh, uh, and there's this nervousness that i feel kind of rolling down your back i i will note that even if this is air energy like all together this is three of swords it's it is a it is a heartbreak energy and i think in your particular case there's a contract that you need to walk away from. Like I was looking at that four of wands and I was talking about marriage and marriage just means, you know, I verbally and or legally committed myself to a thing. Um, it doesn't have to be a person or an actual marriage contract, but if I see a three of swords, that sometimes is a contract breaker. And it's difficult because you actually know what it is you really want deep down inside and you're hesitating because you don't quite know how to deliver a little bit of the news. And I, I, I think you're kind of over identifying with the other party right now. You're very, very empathic, but because you've been trying to get more space, like the fact that I saw this childlike energy trying to really get at me, like, I think this is actually, um, a past over, um, energy, um, but it's it's very glommy. Like I will say, like if you're noticing these energies that are glomming onto you, um, I would recommend you check out different meditations on um how to dismiss your guides and ancestors, like uh Harry's Healing Center, H A R R I E. She's she's pretty cute. I like her. She's she's got some good stuff. Um Christina Pratt. I do not believe she's on YouTube, but you can Google her and she does a lot of um, podcasts and classes on working with your ancestors. And I think that's being brought up because if you're having a bit of this awakening, you're being contacted by ancestors. And I, I get the suspicion that you feel kind of weird that this seems like a thing that's happening. And again, believe me, I've been there. Um, and so like looking up those particular resources are going to be helpful to you. So you can actually start feeling good about dismissing something that's draining your energy. You have something that is draining you, even though you might've gotten some physical space, like, and this could be like going back onto social media and observing all the garbage and just being like, Oh my God, these people are too much for me. Like you're kind of going through a change of the guard consciously and subconsciously. And I think you're just trying to give yourself permission just to kind of walk away from these things. This could be easily a card of, I just need to forgive myself. I just need to move forward, but I don't want to feel bad about it along the way. What kind of specific guidance does spirit have for you at this time? Page of coins, eight of wands. Eight of wands was the card of the day showing up in the main reading. And that can be like a divine epiphany card. Sometimes I think of it as like a low key tower, but this is kind of the tower that you take control of. If you've been kind of sitting, resting, like, you know, 
a piece of you might feel as though you're sitting and resting, like in this position, you've been like, you know, lazy and whatever. No, you're actually really exhausted right now. So I really want to bring that to your attention. Um, but there's something about this energy where it's time for you to make a decision. And this is a very quick decision. This is a direction change. Like I, cause I'm noticing with this page of coins, that's, Almost as though taking all of your life lessons, all the things that you've learned, like the, an, it's almost like an apprenticeship. If I'm seeing it here with this eight of wands, the, you've gone through a lot of something in your own personal life. And now that you've been able to start distancing these, um, these situations, these peoples, these groups, and even understanding how to have boundaries in your 5d understanding, if you have any kind of traumatic history, getting that PTSD properly and healthfully addressed. So you can clear out your fourth dimensional being, and then suddenly being cool with the idea of like, okay, this is my new reality right now. But there's something that you're being asked to take control of. You probably have had a lot of energies trying to get your attention and try to get things to do, be done their way. And, you know, I joked in the main range, like not today, Satan being able to turn this deviled energy around and making choices based on, I know what I know. I know what I've experienced. My experience in my own personal life needs to be honored. I was noting with the four of wands like you know i have removed it at this point but that like i i saw this sort of like you know two different cultures whether if that's like you know based on skin tone based on uh religious differences or um based on societal geographical distances whatever that means to you that you're you had a really good intention and you're starting to learn the difference between a physical tribe versus a soul tribe. And this is your chance to start rebuilding your community from a soul purposed state. And what is my purpose? Your purpose is to heal yourself. And all of the answers come with the more and more that you address what's going on within yourself, stop focusing so much on what third party people are doing and start finding fun ways to start interacting with your fifth dimensional self. And that starts with your imagination, fantasy, play. If it's a horror show in there, well then have a look at that as you are able to, because if there are things that are making you traumatized, making you feel very uncomfortable, again, having um, someone to talk that outwardly with is almost its own spell work. To say it out loud um, gives it no meaning. It's like when you say the, when you speak it out loud, you acknowledge it, it passes. So like this is you learning how to take mental health and spirituality and finding a healthy, um, you know, a healthy balance between the two. Cause if you're like many of us in the collective, like, you know, if you were raised in a religion or a belief heavy system and now having to walk away or even come back with a fresh perspective, it takes great bravery to do that. And you aren't <laughs> feeling super confident right now about it, but even right here, you're being encouraged. Just go ahead and give it a try. Start working like with, with one thing that you know that you're good at something that you know that <laughs> as a, you know, it's sort of like, bitch, I've earned this. Like, I know this perspective. I understand why you see something from, you know, a different angle and we don't have to agree on it, but we don't necessarily have to enjoy each other's company. This is you not just giving yourself just 3d space. This is giving, making sure that you don't have people running around in your mind rent free so that you're free to finally think and feel and do based on what it is that you truly want. And that's where the discovery of soul purpose comes from. As you are able to learn what is worth sharing, what is worth keeping left behind, not having to depend on other people to prove nor disprove your spirituality. Have the people that are um, qualified to help you through the, the mentals, to help you through the psychological aspect. But at the end of the day, anyone will tell you that as long as the voices in your head are not making you feel less than, they are not encouraging you to harm self or others, knowing that if there's a voice that's showing love and kindness towards you, that is actually worth paying attention to and starting to feel comfortable with that. How are you going to feel? at the end of all of this. Got the Hierophant in the reverse to the Two of Pentacles. The Hierophant is um, like 
the teacher, the preacher, the pastor, the pope, but I do see this also as a medicine woman. And this is a, in a lot of ways coming to terms with the authority on finding, because I see this as medicine woman and I keep getting a lot of mental health references in your reading, this is learning how to marry the magic of your own personal well-being and still being able to feel good that it's grounded in science, not in just mythology. There's something very cool about your particular purpose and I think for you there's some storytelling aspect of it that I think you're going to start being open up to. If we are talking about stories, because I suddenly had this kind of oh, sort of feeling, like there's something to be said about keep your stories to yourself, write things down, come up with narratives, not based on your ego, but based on your soul. There's actually a bit of, there's a world of imagination. Like I was talking about the fantasy life in the back of your mind that's vying to be brought to the world, but you won't be able to tell these stories until you've cleared out this old karma, cleared out this old trauma and cleared out energies that are um, more interested in distracting you from your own soul purpose and would rather have you engage with their, you know, childish needs. This is you coming into your own neuroregulation. So I'm going to get one card to, oh, I love it. I'm going to still shuffle, but coyote spirit. I love coyote magic, by the way. Like that was actually one of the first spirit animals that I kind of got accustomed to when I decided I'm going to be woo and spiritual and whatever. But coyote magic is the shaman of self-forgetfulness. Um, a lot of people I've been divining to in this collective, there's a version of yourself that's going to be cropping up pretty soon. Like it could be from an old journal entry, something that you created as a child or an old photograph. You're going to be reminded of an older version of yourself and it's going to help you re-remember First of all, why you got into the bullshit in the first place? Because it wasn't because you're an idiot. It was actually because you were trying to answer a very complex question. And I'm being told you actually found the answer. So we've got honeybee spirit right here. Sweet results await. And along with co-create with spirit, you are already working with the universe way more divinely than I think you're giving yourself credit for. Continue to pay attention to the folklore that you do naturally find interesting, whether that's in science fiction or through, you know, poetry or any kind of other genre. There's something very unique about your particular experience that, um, it will eventually be heard, but it's not ready yet. You're a little bit uh, on the forefront of of spiritual discovery that the world, you know, the world can wait for you to heal because until you heal, the world will not be ready to hear what it is that you have to say. So with Turkey Spirit here, give gratitude and grace and mostly give gratitude and grace for yourself. Again, I don't know why I keep having to say you're not an idiot and any voice that's telling you that Start using an exercise of whenever you start noticing an energy, say, it's like, wow, I'm a fucking idiot. Stop it and say, no, address the energy. Imagine that energy standing right in front of you as like a person or as some weird being or just a ball of like, you know, energy, like whatever it is makes sense for you. And you can easily say to this energy, that is not a useful thing. I do not want you in my energy. No, go. And please close the door behind you. 27, 27, I just saw on the clock. There's something to be said about coming to a close with a very complex, multifaceted cycle, and it's going to be happening very quickly. And in order to get past the finish line with flying colors, it's going to involve you having to forgive yourself. You got into this because you didn't understand why people behaved a certain way. And now that you've actually have started to really see the light and understand what it is, you've had a question answered and this fox spirit is going to be supporting you to help you think on your feet. Things are going to start changing for you. And you're being asked to learn how to like, you know, not today Satan, but how do you learn how to dance with the devil? There, you're going to be going through a few little blips here and there, but the universe is not trying to tear you down. It's trying to test you. And all you have to do is say, yes, this is what I want. And no, this is not what I want. And you'll always get a chance to change your mind. And you'll always get a chance to feel good knowing that you have started to make decisions for yourself, you have begun to create space for yourself, and you will be able to find your purpose through this healing journey. I'm just saying. Whew. Well, whoever you are, 
damn, I really hope that this helped. Whew. Well, thanks again for sticking around, everyone. If you like my style, I'd really appreciate it if you could like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys at the next one. Good luck, everyone. Bye!